The riparian communities to water bodies derive their livelihood from the water resources and the fishing activities around the water bodies. This has led to sparring of economic development within the Lake Victoria Basin. Fish forms an important part of the diets around the world and the fisheries sector plays a major role in the national economy, especially in its contribution to food security, poverty reduction and employment creation. However, due to dense settlement in the riparian areas, severe pollution from runoff Domestic and industrial activities carried nearby are being experienced in the Lake Victoria water, which has led to decline of some fish stocks in the lake. The Lake Victoria Basin is rich in natural and social capital. However, the basin faces major challenges that result in the degradation of its resiliency. Lake Victoria Environmental Management Project Phase 2 addresses these challenges through the implementation of its activities. The project covers the Lake Victoria Basin and selected water catchments in the basin of the East Africa Community EAC states of Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda and Burundi. Uh, fisheries is a key sector. Uh, we'll, have to. we'll focus on uh, improvement of uh, livelihoods as well as engaging the communities to collaborate in the management of the fisheries resources. We have plans for capacity building of BMUs who are key stakeholders. Fish catches have been declining and this is a threat to the livelihood of many people. Almost over 600,000 people are directly or indirectly dependent on the fishery of Lake Victoria. So without proper management and involving the stakeholders, uh, it will not be possible to sustain the, the fisheries of the lake. We also have to supplement the production from the Lake Victoria fishery because uh, we want to promote fish farming, aquaculture development. Lake Victoria Environmental Management Project Phase 2 Kenya, LVEMP2 Kenya, aims to address the main challenges of the fisheries of Lake Victoria which include increased pressure from fishing, increased illegalities due to weak enforcement, underdeveloped aquaculture to meet the demand of fish, and other challenges caused by climate change. We also have uh, plans to initiate mechanisms for sustainable funding of the fishery resource because currently we are depending on the government as well as development partners for research and management of the fishery resources. And we have in the process uh, the operationalization of the fish levy trust fund. Then uh, we want to put structures in place that uh, will enable uh, getting funds or revenue from the resource and then it is plowed back. LVEMP2 Kenya played a key role in the implementation of the Lake Victoria Fisheries Management Plan, FMP, that dealt with fish stock assessment, frame survey, monitoring fishing grounds for pollution, and training of beach management units towards managing the environmental issues concerned to the fisheries sector. Uh, the purpose of frame survey is to ascertain uh, basically two things. One. Uh, the fishing capacity and effort in the lake in the context of the fishermen, the fishing boats, the fishing gears, the types and methods, and also to take the socio-economic indicators of, of, of our landing sites. This involves the roads, electricity, water. When we know the number of uh, fishermen, then the types of gears against how much it can extract from the lake, it informs the fisheries managers in making appropriate laws that would help 
manage the lake at sustainable, sustainable levels. The project supported 225 groups at a cost of 670 million Kenya shillings, out of which 69 were beach management units, BMU beneficiaries, accounting for 253 million Kenya shillings. Many fishermen and fish traders around Lake Victoria are having challenges of processing their products from the lake. And that's why Levemb has brought in the aspect of value addition. These racks that you have seen here, they are uh, solar powered, and uh, you find that the product which is coming out of them has more value compared to that omena which is uh, just spread on the, on the ground. And I thank you very much for the Levemb to take care of the land. Kwa sababu wametusaidia sana, tunakula omena safi, wateja wetu wanafurai. Ukianika hapa hata kama ilikuwa ndogo ndogo, unaona inakuwa ile size kubwa. Kulingana na vile inakaa kwa kivuli, yenyewe inakauka vile inatakikana, yenyewe inajiuza. Yani hata mteja kifika sokoni anasema anataka hiyo. Kwa, kwa hivyo, tunaomba hata mutuongeze zaidi ya hizi vibanda. Na vile nimeanika hapa chini, nimeanika kwa sababu kwa ile kibanda yetu, kibanda ni chache, uwezu kaanika umena besheni tatu mtu mmoja na tuko watu wengi. Lakini hiyo kibanda ni msuri sana. Kianika hapa umena, inatoka safi kabisa. Unakula na romo. Sasa hapa huwa tunaanika tu kwa sababu huko, ile sehemu ni chache. Na hapa tena inakauka haraka, na huko pia inakauka. Kini inakuwa safi kuliko ya hapa chini. The funds went towards construction of fish bandas, building of cold storage, purchase of patrol engine boats, test some uh, boat accessories which have just been purchased by Levem2. This is part of the institutional capacity building for the institutions which are participating in the implementation of the project. And uh, right now we have delivered uh, four canoes and four output engines. And these ones, they're just part of, uh, uh, they will provide uh, support for two mother boats that are being constructed and which will be delivered in due course. These boats will be used for research purposes as well as fisheries management. The canoes we have just delivered uh, are supposed to be effective in the shallow areas of the lake uh, for purposes of collecting uh, samples for research, as well as uh, enforcing the law, especially for those people who are fishing in the breeding grounds, we have to keep them away. Establishing sanitation facilities in fish landing sites, jetties and livelihood improvement. By implementation of the FMP, LVEMP2 Kenya has successfully established water resources information system, harmonized water policies, municipal and industrial effluent standards have improved. Fish landing site sanitation has improved by building of eco toilets and providing clean environment for fish handling in the fish bunders. Security of the fishermen and their fishing gear has improved tremendously. <laughs> tukaomba patrol engine huwa boat zetu zina zinaanguka majini na boti ikianguka majini kwenda ku wale watu ambao wamepatana na sida kule barini bila eh, motorized eh, boat huwa inakuwa sida kabisa pia tunatumia boat hii motorized boat hii kulinda bahari yetu wale watu ambao wanavua sehemu ambazo zimetengewa samaki ili samaki zizaane huwa uh, tunawashika uh, uh, na tunawapeleka uh, kotini ili uh, watozwe faini. The estimated total fish landings have increased with a beach value increasing from 550 million US dollars in 2011 to 840 million US dollars in 2014. The FMP has enabled aquaculture development, fish value addition, capacity building, human resources development and fisheries management and resource utilization.